Hello everybody. Today is Monday, January the 5th, 2014. My name is Michael Wright and this is the Daily Elliott Wave and Price Action video. Just before going forward, please do pause the recording and read over our risk disclaimer. Alright, let's jump right into um, some price action. Uh, one pair in particular that I am very, um, that I'm looking at, that I'm very interested in and will be eyeing um, at least for the start of the year and for January into February, one is the Aussie dollar, okay? Um, taking a look at the Aussie, if we take a look at it on the daily time frame, we could count this as an A, B, and then a C wave. Um, with really the breakout from the triangle marking the B wave, as you all know from a uh, from a Ellie wave standpoint, um, triangles occur within uh, B and fourth waves. So this will align from that uh, perspective, and then. Um, with that breakout, we have the first targets are usually the uh, measured move, which is the A equals C, the 100% Fib. Um, and then we see that we actually broke below that. So then we eye the 161, which we are currently finding for some critical support. So I don't really want to bottom pick this just yet because the US dollar has really um, gained steam and pushed through the floor across the board or pushed through the top edge ceiling across the board um, but really here with the Aussie dollar um, finding some support and also showing a wick we will now go to the four hour time frame and look for some cues in terms of our reversal and one of those cues are a in my opinion a four hour close and break above 8150 all right so so long as we break and close above there for um that resistance turns into support then we'll eye and look for um, higher edge points into the 90, 91, 92 area um, going forward. So um, watch out for that. That's going to be one of our uh, big edge um, points as we kick off the new year. So four hour close above there. We'll look for a 40, 50 pip stop, and then I um, some big points are going forward and then it's a uh, counterpart the Kiwi dollar okay the Kiwi dollar is similar except if you shorten the time frame on the four hour part which you'll see what you'll see a witness is it's being confined by that um, descending wedge. Descending wedge now we find 7840 to the 76 marker and then we'll just look for a 4 hour close and uh, break above that 7840 but you'll see very similar cues between the two um, commodity currencies. All right. Um, open up the time frame, there's the Kiwi Dollar Daily, and then speaking of commodities, the one that's obviously well affected by uh, crude oil is the Dollar Cat. And obviously, we have seen um, uh, we have seen the Dollar Cat or the crude oil tumble like a rock, but then more importantly, we have seen crude oil. Um, the the CAD loose theme against and then the dollar CAD push higher across the board. So with that said, when we open up the dollar CAD time frame, okay, um, this is the your dollar. I get back to this. This is the weekly chart. All right. So if you guys are wondering what time frame this is, this is indeed the weekly. Um, but then here, this is the dollar CAD. So we had that break already. Um, I don't really think we'll come back below 105, but any downswing back towards 105, that would be optimal to um, get back into some long positions, okay? Now, 
Now what I'm going to do here is pull up the RSI, the loss of strength index, just to get any uh, further cues on uh, reversal points and see first time really that we've actually matched the lows and then pushed higher but in either case with this it's pretty almost a clear cut A to C with that recent down move here um, that's probably the 78.6 very close to it and so long as this edge holds for the dollar cad this bottom side of 94.20 which I think it would um, ideally do this count then switches and then we'll look for that 122 area so still so still a lot of headwind um, going forward for the dollar cad um, for some upside and with that recent break of the 61.8 percent fib we could look for the 78.6 with that 122.60 area for the next big um, for the next big target zone okay so um, those are a few. Those are the, the two commodities, and then, as promised, the euro dollar. Euro dollar. Um, another pair we see further to the downside. We um, there was some minor support, 122.30, about three weeks ago. We broke below there, and similar. So this is what I was saying um, with the other pair, that A to C, right? That measured move. So now that measured move next is going to lie for that 115 area. All right. So um, let's leave a uh, pause on that now. Um, we'll take it from there and then uh, see how things develop going forward. All right, guys. Um, again, Aussie dollar is going to be the one in the short term that we um, that we look for uh, before a potential bounce or reverse. All right, guys. Cheers and good luck trading.